Hello there. After some heavy snowfall across parts of Europe caused plenty of disruption, the weekend continuing to look quite wintry across much of Europe. In fact, the satellite picture is picking up a really dark swirl of cloud heading south across the Balkans and into southeast Europe. And here we're seeing the main focus of some continued heavy snowfall. In fact, on Saturday, we had scenes across Austria of heavy, persistent snow, that snow mounting up, especially across the high ground, although it was good news for the ski resorts. Of course, it did cause some disruption due to traveling in the strong winds, that snow then blowing around. And in fact, the wind's particularly strong around this low. You can see the tightly packed isobars, although rain along the Adriatic coast, you didn't have to move too far inland to see that heavy snow through the Balkans, southeast Europe, where we could see by the end of the weekend up to 100 centimetres of snow. And that's not the end of the wintry weather for Europe, because over the weekend, another low is slipping through the North Sea and it's bumping into some cold air. So as we look to next week, that mixture, weather fronts, temperatures sitting around freezing, there is the possibility of yet more snow as we look over the next couple of days. So if you are travelling to Europe throughout Monday and Tuesday, be prepared for some disruption. Berlin seeing some more snow throughout Monday and Tuesday with temperatures sitting at around about freezing, a similar story in Zurich. And whilst we've got this wintry weather across Europe, this weekend not looking quite as cold for the UK, but as we start next week, temperatures yet again are going to start to tumble away both during the day and at night. At the moment it looks like the beginning of the week we could see a few wintry showers peppering northern and eastern coast but for many it should be dry with some sunshine but we'll keep you up to date on that forecast as the week progresses on our website.